Yes. Half an hour, 45 minutes. We are going to try to finish session six. Okay? E is your section in your book, all about service. There is not much story to learn. Um, in section six, do you get much questions in your SSR exam? Maybe one or two. Okay? Very simple section, no understanding of tables that need to be there. We are going to start now, and my plan is we'll finish section six in the next half an hour, and the remaining one hour, we'll try to do uh, section eight. Not the whole section, but maybe we could do voltage drop calculation before we go home for today. Okay. You're good? Okay. Ready, guys? Open up section six in your code book. And we are going to highlight some good stuff. Can you try one of the lights on? It's kind of hard time seeing Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you want to try one light? Or is there two lights? Okay, the other one. Try the other one. Try the other one? Oh, why don't you open the lights? Right. Okay. Guys, are you okay with this? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. You can see that. Did that? Yeah. I'll try to use a, a darker highlighter. Does this work, yellow? It looks fine to me. Okay. All right. Section 6, service. Okay. Typical question in your exam that does show up is on how high the maxi what can be the maximum height of a service wire. Okay? You're gonna go to 6-112, where it says the maximum height of a service wire can be beyond. 9 meters. So you're going to go ahead and highlight this rule. Rule number 6 112, sub rule 2. Clear? What's after that? Now, what if I was told, well, I'm installing a service wire um, on a highway. What shall be the minimum height of this wire from the floor level? The answer is for a highway, the clearance needed is 5.5. For driveways to a garage at home is four meters. In case of a driveway to commercial premises is five meters. In case of pedestrian walk, 3.5 meters. These are your minimum numbers or minimum heights. Maximum service wire can go beyond nine. Okay? If I have a window, okay, and the conductor is outside the window and it's a service wire, how far should it be from the window? The answer is one meter. That should be your answer right here. Okay? If this conductor is above the window, do I need one meter clearance? I don't. Okay? Let's keep going. Guys, if you see this rule, highlight the word that says Appendix B because there is some story that's just in Appendix B. It's nowhere else. Okay? So you're going to put one hand here. Go to Appendix B with me. Tell me what page number we are going to to get to 6 112. Page number 412, guys. The story of uh, anything to do with installation of a service mast is in rule number. You're going to go to page number 6413 all the way to the top and I want you to write down requirements of service mass right here. The whole story is written. Okay. So if I was shall be the maximum opacity and voltage for the service could go up to for a consumer service. Do you guys see the answers right there? A consumer service cannot exceed 200 amps and 750 volts. What's the maximum length of the supply conductor that it can go for service? 30 meters. Okay. 
when the maximum unguide projection of a support member does not exceed 1.5 meters the guy wire is if this is the pole okay the guy wire is this okay rule says anything beyond 1.5 meters tall needs to have a guy wire so just something to be aware of in your exam as i said recurrent question that may come is what is the maximum length of service wire that it can go up to the answer is 30 meters we're going to go back to where we came from to section 6 again what else do we need to know in 6 rule number next one we are going to go to is on Six dash two or six. That's a recurrent asked question in your exam. Six dash two or six says, "Well, I'm installing a service uh, box. Okay, what shall be the minimum headroom clearance of that room where I could put a box? Okay, the service box can't be installed unless and until you have a headroom clearance of two meters. Recurrently asked question in your exam. Okay." What else? We're going to keep going to rule number 302. In rule 302, you're going to go to sub rule 3. Sub rule 3 says, what shall be the minimum length? The length of consumer service conductors beyond the service head shall be long enough to make connections. And it should be a minimum length of 750 mm and conductors are provided with. What shall be the minimum conductor size for copper? Number 10 and number 8 for aluminum if I'm using it for service. These are your two recurrently asked questions. We're going to keep going. Nothing else on page 29. Yes, one more question, guys. Right here. If I'm using a mineral insulated cable, okay, what shall be my minimum conductor size I can use? Do you guys see if it's a single conductor cable, the sizes have to be larger than number 4 copper or aluminum. Larger than number 4 is what? Three. Number 3 or more. So he should have said number 3, very poorly written rule. So you're going to write down number 3 or more. So when your time is really, you know, going fast in your exam, you end up just looking at the rule and finding the answer without reading it. It's uh, deceiving, deceiving information that says the conductor has to be larger than number 4. Technically, you should have said minimum size that you need is number 3. Okay? All right, guys, keep going. Page 29 is done. Anything on page 30? Yes. The minimum service conduit size that I need for any service um, uh, installation is 21 mm, which is 3 quarters of an inch. Okay? Last question, if you ever see, comes from the installing a meter. So, under metering equipment. Okay? Sub rule 2 is the one that has shown up multiple times in the last few months. So we're going to highlight this question. Sorry, which is this again? Sub rule 2 on rule number 402 here. 402, which is okay. Okay. It says, metering equipment shall be connected on the load side of service box, except it can be, it must, it can be allowed on the supply side as long as A, B, and C are fulfilled. The one that comes in your exam is as long as the voltage is AC and it doesn't exceed 300 volts between two conductors. Okay? So rule B is the one that does show up out of A, B, C, D which statement is true. And that finishes our section 6. So we're going to take some time to review this section and before we move on to wonderful world of 8. So open up your materials. We're going to go to section 6 classwork.
on the homework assignment. Question number two. Question number seven. Question number nine. Question number 14. So how many questions did I give you guys? 11 questions, guys. You have 22 minutes. We'll check our work at 310. Easy, right? Yeah. There's not much. Just read it. 